Good morning and welcome to Poppy's workshop and what's on Poppy's workbench. As you can see, nothing. Okay, only kidding. Uh, what I am going to be doing today is I will be uh, finishing some of the pieces that I've been working on for oh, the past few weeks. And in this case, uh, I will show you each of the pieces. Actually, let me do this beforehand. I just glued up my nativities. So there is the cherry nativity. And here is the aspen nativity. The other is this particular one right here. Uh, that is the um, canary wood. And two that I actually showed you a while ago, uh, these are two little wheel toys for my grandson. Um, yep, make sure the wheels still spin. So we have the little car here, and I did this out of scrap wood. So we have some um, oak here and some aspen in the middle to give it its uh, color. And then I think that was mahogany and... Uh, probably, oh, let me see here, yep, and the oak in the middle, so mahogany and oak. Um, little change there um, in terms of how the colors work. Uh, now with the helicopter, I am still debating. Um, I have the blades that would go on like that. Uh, the issue that I have, of course, is that in order to put them in, I need to have either a small screw or a small nail. And I worry about that for such a, a little guy uh, right now. Uh, you know, he's only almost nine months old. So technically, he's not really going to be able to use this gift for a while. But even when he gets to be like two years old, uh, I'd be worried that if a piece comes off, it will... You know, it's something that he put in his mouth. So I may have to wait till he's three years old in order to uh, to do this. So I am using raw linseed oil to finish up my pieces. And I really like it for a number of reasons. Um, yes, it does take a while to dry. But getting in between the cracks and everything, you know, for example... Uh, I could get one of my little sucky things, um, what is it, uh, like a syringe, and use that. Or, like here, just pour it in, and it's in. So, let me do that to the helicopter. And when I'm done, I just pour all this back into the... Uh, let me get, where's my lid? Oh, I'm dripping. I'll just pour it back into the container when I'm all done. Uh, that's what I like about that. Um, so it just goes on real nice. It does take a while to dry. So in this case, you know, I'm going to let this sit for a week or so so that it fully cures and hardens which is nice. Now, what I am concerned about is the wheels. I probably should have done that separately and later on. So I got to be aware that when this does dry, I got to make sure that that um, doesn't stick. So I might have made a, a major boo-boo there. So my correction will be is I'll just cut the wheels off and um, and redo it. So we'll, we'll see how that, uh, that goes. But yeah, this... Uh, Finishes real nice. I think I got it all in there. Yeah. And actually, I forgot to get my um, cloth that I'll use to wipe it. So I have a bunch of old rags, for lack of a better term, towels and washcloths and things like that that I can just use as a, um, as a wipe off here. There we go. So I'll hand rub all the excess off. And these are pretty lint free, being that as old as they are. I do have some shop towels. Uh, 
by them by the hundreds, but they are still very linty. And usually I try and use them, wash them. Um, yep, I got to get into here so you can see what the heck I'm doing. I, I try and wash them uh, frequently. And then when they get to a certain point where, you know, maybe they're not as good as they should be as a shop towel, I'll use them to wipe off the excess of my pieces that I am finishing and uh, go from there. Okay, I think that is enough. Yeah, so we'll get that one. Actually, I do need to finish these. And what I like is, yeah, you just flip it over and you're done. Um, so here we go. Yeah. Um, and what's nice, you know, let me do this. Let me wipe this off and then I'll show you how it looks as the woods, the various species really start to come out uh, with their color. Now I do have a gel uh, polyurethane finish. I mainly use that for my intarsia. Uh, I tried using it on one of my Christmas pieces, but I don't like how it goes into the cracks and stuff like that. Uh, so I put some extra in and and then it kind of crusted over. It's like, ah, crap. That's not so nice. So there we go. Let's do that. And let's see if you can see the colors. Um, so there you can see the colors really start to stand out. Um, get that in the light a little bit better. And then let's go back to the little car and how that looks from the top and from the side. It looks very attractive. Now, the other reason why I do like the raw linseed oil is, oops, I forgot about these puppies. The, the raw linseed oil is also um, food safe. Um, thus, it is kid safe. So if a kid puts the toy in their mouth, I don't have to worry about uh, any chance of them getting poisoned, which, you know, is remote for a lot of the finishes that we use uh, today is once they are cured, uh, hardened, there's really no issue with those. Um, so that's a, that's a good thing. So here, you know, what I could do is yeah, now tilt that up a little bit here so I can get it all in the cracks and the sides. I could fill this up even more. Actually, let's see. Let's do it this way. Yeah, that, that gets in. So let's get that up higher. There we go. So here, I'll just get it all covered soaking in you know the wood is really dry but we do this and we'll be fine let's tilt it here yeah not a lot of brushing needed there turn that there we go yeah so this is how I prefer to finish my pieces. Put on plenty. And uh, go from there. And oh, yeah. So here you can actually see my logo burned in the bottom of the, uh, the pieces. And these will be used as gifts. Oh. I've got to get a uh, better brush. I got to get some real camel hair rather than these sponges because with me jiggy jagging, getting caught onto these edges and everything, they uh, give up the ghost pretty quickly and leave, you know, debris. So that's not a very good thing. So yeah, I kind of get in there. So you can see that getting 
into all the crooks and nannies, as I prefer to call it. Let's see, we'll tilt that up. It is a lot faster, more thorough. Yeah, there we go. And let's wipe off the excess here. Uh, yeah. So we're coming up to the Thanksgiving week. Uh, my goal was to have all this stuff completed uh, this weekend, which is a good thing. Um, like I said, we will have a Secret Santa coming up. Oh, I do want to point out something on the Aspen, which is very interesting. At first, I didn't like it, but now I'm, I'm beginning to like it. Uh, so I'll show you momentarily when I get this excess off. There we go. I think I have most of it off that I want. Yeah, there we go. Let's get here. I'm trying to do this quickly too, as you know, I don't want to bore you on the video, but here we go. Okay, one of the interesting things, and I don't know, yeah, I think you can see it. If you look what's starting to happen in some of the cut areas, it starts to turn, oh, a, a, a darker color, uh, an amberish or whatever you want to call it. And some of it still stays sort of white, but it, it does yellow a little bit. But what's really interesting is when it's fully cured, it looks like bone. So I thought, wow, that's kind of neat. Now, one thing that I have done in the past, I'm not going to do today, is I have uh, an air compressor. I have a hose on a, I think it's a 50-foot reel. And... Uh, what I'll do is I'll take it and just take the air to knock out any of the extra drips that are in between. So that's something that I do, but that is way noisy uh, after the first couple spritz there. So I, I definitely don't want to do that to you. So let's do the cherry. Get the base. Yeah, I really like the cherry. And actually, I find when it comes to scroll saw, I find that most nut and fruit woods, um, I just I just favor them the most. So, you know, give me the cherry, the, uh, the oaks, uh, anything like that. Uh, I do like maple. Yeah, everybody has a has a preference, and those are mine for the wood. Though you know, when you're doing intarsia, it's like just get as many as you can. Or those puzzles that I do, where each piece will be a different species of wood. Um, I have the one with eight and one with twelve different species of of wood. So. There we go. I think I got everything. We'll look down. Oh, didn't get there. So as you can see, I'm, I'm laying it on heavy. Just let it drip in. Let the wood soak it up. I think, yeah, I'm still there. See, and again, what's nice is in these small nooks and crannies, I just lay it on thick and it just drips right off. And it'll be finished real nice there let's check inside yeah all those i think that looks good all right i probably should have got a bigger towel since i was doing a lot more than i had anticipated so yeah so I'm starting to do uh, live videos. Uh, it'll be on the weekends, of course, and I'm debating on the day and the time. Um, I did my first one Saturday at 6.30 in the morning uh, because I am up really early in the morning anyway. Uh, so I'm debating and would like some input from you, my 
viewers as to what works best for you. Um, I know there's a few other streams out there, a few other scrollers that are doing uh, live shows that go for an hour, two hours, three hours, but I'm only looking to do maybe half an hour, uh, no more than an hour uh, live video, and hopefully I can do some tips and stuff like that, have some chats as more people stream in, but let me know in the comments as to when you would like to see one of these uh, live streams from me and see how that goes. So here is, whoops, let's, I'm going to spill that. I got to be careful. So here's my logo. And in another video, I'll show you how I do that. I have a small laser that, well, actually I have two lasers, but I have the small laser that only etches. So that one is a square box of what, maybe 10 by 10 or something like that? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to check what it actually is in terms of size, but oops. But what I'll do is, um, I'll put the piece before I glue it up. I'll put the piece down, get it all centered as best as possible. That's off a little bit. And then just run that as I'm doing other things. Now I do have the larger laser uh, that will do, oh, at least a 12 by 12 square. I do have a rail attachment that's going to add another, oh, I think two feet to it. So it can be quite large uh, or long in terms of the piece that I'm going to laser. But in this case, most of my lasering is just to put scripture, uh, to put logos and things like that on my various pieces. So I was looking for something inexpensive and something that I can just keep up on the shelf. And then when I'm, I'm done, just put it up there. Um, so that's what I have, and I'll, I'll show you that in another video. Hmm. Yeah, this is coming out nice. I, I really like canary wood. Uh, first of all, as an oily wood, it, uh, it, the blade goes through nice and easy. The blades don't dull as quickly. Always a nice thing. Uh, I think I got everything here. Let me check the tops. Yeah. Looks like I got everything. Yeah, here we go. And wipey wipey time. There we go. So that will be another video. I'll show you how I do that. Um, and another thing that I'd, I'd like from you who are watching this video, if there is something you would like to see, uh, a particular tip, for example, how to, I do something, uh, I can make a video of that for you and publish it out. Now, as I always say, uh, there is no right way. There is no wrong way. There's only your way. And you will take what works for you. And in some cases, like what I do is I take the techniques of various people. Let me move this off. Hold on for a second here. Man, a lot of that... Uh, sponge got caught up in the uh, pan there so here let's do this oh, I'm trying to get around some things here so there's a lot of videos that I watch or blogs and books that I read and I look at different techniques of how people do things um, and then I adapt it to me uh, so that's why I always say there's no right way, there's no wrong way, uh, there's no best way, but just your way. And, you know, it's always nice to see what other people are doing. You may adapt it 100%, or you may only take a couple bits and pieces from it. So uh, be more than happy to do that uh, for you. And there you go. That's the canary wood nativity 
and the white tea light will go right on top there. So that's what's on Poppy's workbench today, this weekend, uh, heading into Thanksgiving. And with that, may the Lord richly bless you. Make it a great day right here at Poppy's Workshop.